there needs to be serious changes in how this administration intends on acting with students in the future because it won't fly. After a court ruled against an injunction brought against Dawson College by its student union requesting all exams be held online due to the pandemic, the student body voted not to take the exams at all. I think the college has, in turn, essentially ruined its reputation in the public sphere uh, with the way they've treated students throughout this uh, this pandemic uh, with these final exams. I mean, this is the second time the college has tried to push this on students. They really don't listen to students at the end of the day. They don't seem to care. On May 26th, a day before the start of the week-long exam period, the Dawson Student Union announced that 51% of the students had voted in favor of a boycott. They estimate approximately 30% of the close to 3,000 students attending the college voted. The exams could have been vigilated online, as it was the case in fall 2020. As it was the case throughout the semester, we're talking about math, chemistry, and physics for the most part. These departments have administered exams fully online throughout the semester. They're making a choice here to have these exams in person. I think this could be a way to signal um, to other just colleges and universities that there's going to be some sort of in-person learning um, in, in, in the fall. Um, for example, at McGill, I've been in many meetings with, with uh, the administration, and they did mention that international student tuition is a really big concern. And a lot of international students don't want to come to, Mon to Montreal um, if they're going to just be doing their school online. The student union estimates about 500 students are boycotting the exams. In a statement released earlier this week, the university says that the majority of students will not have to come in for final exams, and many exams have been converted to online where possible. However, for certain disciplines, there is a need for an in-person evaluation due to either the practical nature of the assessment or difficulty in preserving academic integrity. So the debate shouldn't be between the universities or the college's concern for academic in integrity and the health and well-being of their of their students, because clearly they can they can do both. It doesn't have to be one or the other. They're making outlandish claims where there's been three times as much cheating. I I mean, if there were two cases of cheating, okay, now there are six. It's not a not a significant portion of the student body. I think that uh, they they often use very misleading data to support their claims. And I think that there's been no real effort to actually transition exams online. It's, it's an economic decision um, because prior to this, no other universities have, why, why, why make the final exam period on, like in person? It's, it, it makes no sense. Um, and it's the students that are gonna feel these consequences, not the college administrators that are in their offices uh, at home uh, making these decisions. So, of course, I think there's a lack of sensitivity to students' needs and concerns. When reached for comment by email, a spokesperson for Dawson College said, exams are taking place as scheduled. The majority of students who were scheduled have been coming to the college to write their final exams. In Montreal, Sasha Obis, City News.